In this video, I am going to show you how to generate a user-defined source from a leak scenario. This is often used when a leak or even a catastrophic rupture scenario that you have created does not fully represent the scenario that you wish to model. You may consider updating any of the discharge inputs if you would like to limit the duration of the release to perform a sensitivity such as modeling a different release rate or to take external factors affecting the release in the form of a pre-dilution air rate. It is important to remember that when a user-defined source is created from a leak, all the discharge inputs will be pre-populated from the leak scenario and these inputs, along with the updated parameters, will be used by the dispersion and effects modeling to determine the consequence distances. In this example, I am going to use my 25 mil liquid leak within the LPG Sphere 101 pressure vessel scenario. To do this, I will first make sure that the leak scenario has been run up to consequences and then hit run. Once the scenario is finished, right click on the leak scenario and then select create source for category 1.5D. It does not matter which weather condition you will select as the discharge results are independent of the weather condition. Now that this is done, double click on the user defined source window and view the parameters. In this example, I will be performing a sensitivity and model a release where the mass flow rate is in fact 15 kg per second. So I will change the mass flow rate at time equals to 0 to 15 as well as the mass flow rate for time equal to 3,600 seconds to 15 kilograms per second, and then hit OK. Once I'm happy with the scenario, I will then again run the model. As I am performing a sensitivity analysis, I am going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the results from the leak scenario and from the user-defined source I created. I will first view the results for the 25 mil liquid leak and view the graphical results for this for the 1.5D weather condition. Hit finish. I will do the same for the user-defined source that I have created. Open the graph results and show the results for the 1.5D weather condition. I will now display the graphs side by side to view the differences. In order to do this, I will click the window heading for the user defined source and drag it towards the middle. I will display it to the right of the first graph. Now I can view my results side by side for comparison. For example, if I am to view the side results for both scenarios. As you can see, for the user defined source that I have created, with a flow rate of 15 kg per second instead of the 10 kg per second in the original leak scenario, the cloud height is slightly higher compared to the leak scenario. I hope that you have found this video helpful. Thank you.